Raider Nation, give me some Raiders in the comments section. That's a big time win up against a very good football team in the Bears. The Raiders won this one 24-21. So I want you guys right now to react with an emoji. After halftime, it was all smiles. The third quarter, I thought I was going to absolutely just throw up. And now this one was a big time win for the Oakland Raiders as they're going into their bye week at 3-2. and two. And let me just say this, man. That was a gutsy drive at the end of this game. They went 97 yards. So for all y'all that want to hate on Derek for checking the ball down, that was a gutsy, gutsy, gutsy drive. 97 yards, and then it was a bird. It was a plane. Hell no. It was Josh Jacobs supermanning his way into the end zone. I am unbelievably hyped right now. I hope that I have a voice. I was screaming my lungs out. The Raiders... 3-2, 24-21. So I want everyone who's watching right now, man, knock on wood if you're with me because I'm freaking stoked. The Raiders, big time win. I want you to type Raiders in the comments section. A lot of people were doubting the Raiders this entire week. And to be honest, Bet DSI was one of them. Five and a half point underdogs. What did I tell you all week? Bet on the Raiders to win this game. The best part about this game, they didn't have Tyrell Williams. And they found a way to come up and win this football game. So what I'm doing right now is a live reaction to the Raiders' big time win up against the Bears. So use hashtag Raiders in the comments section. Get your questions on screen. We won. Let's celebrate. Sal, my man, what you got for me? The Raiders' offensive line has got to be top 10 in the league right now or maybe even top 5. The Raiders' offensive line straight up bullied the Bears from start to finish. It was a reason why we established that running game. It's a reason why Josh Jacobs looked so dang good. Heck, DeAndre Washington looked good. This game, though, realistically, 24-21, should have been even a bigger of a blowout. Had a few bad turnovers, though. Melissa Garcia. What up, girl? We got more sacks than Mac. That one's for Chucky Heads. Believe it, baby. The Raiders, four sacks in this game. Max Crosby comes out, balls blazing, and wraps it up for the big-time sack. Ben Simeoa. Mo Hurst with a big time hit. Man, Max Crosby got his first start of his entire career. And for everyone who's watching the show right now, can we get some Max Crosby's in the comments section? Because I love this dude. One tackle, one sack, one QB hit, and a tackle for a loss. He was really, really good this year, and he finally got that start. Yes, Cleveland Furl did not end up playing in this football game, but Max Crosby stepped up. Ben Sumayoa, four and a half sacks now on the year. Mo Hurst had a sack. Like, this Raiders team showed up and produced. Great, great overall team win. Melissa, yeah, who won the MAC trade now? Just say it, Josh Jacobs looked pretty dang good. All right, let's go to Jose Valdez. What up, brother? Does the MAC trade die today? <laughs> Jose, get a picture. But in all seriousness, we have to look at this game, right? We know how great Khalil Mack is, but one player does not make a team. This was a great team win from start minus the third quarter, and then the fourth quarter when we needed to put it in gear again, what did the Raiders do? My biggest takeaway going into this game, we need to run the football with Josh Jacobs. You need to tire out that defense. And the, just like we did week one against the Broncos, you did not allow their great pass rushers to get the car. We ran the football down their throat, Great job, but yeah, Jose, you and I, we're on the same page. Let's go to Isaac Chandra. Isaac, hey, it's breaking to you. I think my abs are better. How about Jacobs? Hashtag Raiders. Let's get some Jacobs in the comments section. Now, coming up here in a little bit, I'm going to break down some awards, some grades, and a whole bunch of stuff. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. You're definitely going to see Josh Jacobs because of this type of performance. Two touchdowns, 4.7 yards per carry, and then 100 123 rushing yards up against the Chicago Bears. Like, this is arguably the best defense in the entire NFL. A lot of people are going to say, well, Mitch, he should get that many yards. Yeah, sure. But, like, coming into the game, averaging five yards per carry. This game, 4.7. He was involved in the passing game. And, yeah, the Khalil Mack trade is looking a whole lot better now. If you're watching us right now, I appreciate you. Make sure you use hashtag Raiders to get your comments on the show. We are doing a live reaction to the Raiders' big-time win up against the Bears. And for those of you that are not already subscribed, make sure you do. It's YouTube.com slash Raiders Report. We are the most interactive Raiders channel, so to the 700 people watching us, 
right now on YouTube. I salute you, and I'm going to head over to Facebook. I don't know how many people we got there, but I imagine we got a lot there too. Jacobs, the new beast mode. Hashtag Raiders. It's funny that you say that. I took a picture. I put a still on my IG this week um, with Marshawn Lynch to so go check it out at Mitchell Ren 365 But is Jacobs the new beast mode? I'll tell you what, man. <laughs> Two Chucky heads. People are talking. Let's go to Kyle Has. I'll tell you one thing Kyle doesn't have is a flipping picture. Kyle, my man, you watch the show all the time. I know you do. Get a picture. I almost cried on the fumble on the one-yard line. Does this win change the critics for DC? It's an interesting question because what do the people say about DC? He's not clutch, and yet he led a 97-yard drive there at the end. Sure, it was a great run on that very first play by Jacobs with 15 yards, but that one yard or the fumble by Trevor Davis, when that happened, I was like, he was going to be my most frustrating player. I was really upset. But the Raiders stayed calm. When Derek needed to lead the team 25 or 32 for 229 yards, I don't care they didn't have any touchdowns, and I don't care that he... You know, like, I don't care that he didn't really stretch the ball down the field. He did this without his main option, Tyrell Williams. So for everyone watching the show right now, can we get some DCs in the comments section for the simple reason that Derek, when he needed to be clutch, showed up and led a touchdown drive. That's what a good quarterback does. Now, I see a super chat coming in here from Armando. Armando, I appreciate you, but you know what I'm going to say. You know what I'm going to say. Garyon, not even close to the spelling, but it's okay, I love you, was the big-time player this game. See, I agree and disagree. Garyon a few times kind of got burnt by Allen Robinson. Robinson had a good touchdown catch over him. But when the Raiders needed to make a stop, who showed up? Garyon Conley. But that's what you're going to get with Garyon. You're going to get the high upside plays. You're also going to get the, you know, the Garyon Conley plays where you're like, what the heck is he doing? But when we needed to make a play, Garyon Conley did. And Armando, you don't have a picture, but since you did submit a super chat, I appreciate that. Go to Raider Nation store. They hooked me up with this shirt. Just saying, guys, the Raiders are 2-0 and when I wear this shirt. I might never take it off, but if you go to Raider Nation store, use that promo code MITCH20, all right? MITCH20 for 20% off. Let's go to my dude, S. Ray. Do you think Gruden said to Mac when they met? <laughs> what do you? Oh, I can't read. Um, what do you think Gruden said to Mac when they met? See, I don't really think Gruden would be the type of guy that would rub it in, and I don't really know if I'd rub it into Mac because all week, yeah, Mac was excited to play, but what do you really expect the kid to say? Um, he did also say a lot of kind things about the Raiders this week, but John probably was like, hmm, maybe should have stayed. All right, let's go to Torch Chevy. Two holding calls forced by Mad Max. He looked great. Like, all right, so I'm going to go on a little bit of a tangent here. So if you guys like what we're doing here, I want you to like this video right now. I would definitely appreciate that. Like this video. We got over 800 people watching. Make sure you guys subscribe. YouTube.com slash Raidersport. Mad Max look good. Mad Max look really good. And I know if you watched my show just a few days ago, I said he needs to start. Got the start. Got the Raiders off going. And if you can find me a player that gives more effort than Max Crosby... I might give you $5 on Venmo because you're not going to find it. You're not going to find a player who gives a better effort than Max Crosby on every single play. Mad Max is in the comments section. Another super chat coming in here from my man, Manuel. What up, brother? Okay, I think it is fair that we can say that Josh Jacobs is taking that hashtag beast mode, putting in work two weeks now. Josh looks great. There is no doubt about that. I'm trying to do the math in my head, so bear with me. I know he has over 400 rushing yards. And if you were smart, like literally uh, two months ago, I told you to go put money on Josh Jacobs winning Offensive Rookie of the Year at BetDSI. Hopefully you did that because there is not a player right now, there is not a rookie who looks better right now than Josh Jacobs. And if you agree with me, like this video right now. Let's go to Andre AA. Is Derek Carr living up to our expectations? From a statistical standpoint, a lot of people would say no. But from what Derek Carr needs to do with this team, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Think about, again, what Derek Carr has gone through this offseason. You think that you're going to have arguably the best wide receiver in the league? He goes down. The Raiders are 1-2, and two, and all the critics were out after the Chiefs and Vikings game. What happens? The Raiders, they come out, they go on the road in Indy and get a big-time win. Now, in London, in London, without your best receiver, okay? Without your best receiver, you put up solid production. 
Now, this is what the Raiders wide receivers did today. Renfro, one catch, 12 yards, had two bad drops. Keelan Doss, two catches, 11 yards. Trevor Davis, four catches for 42 yards. Now, if I don't know if there's a way where I can show what the wide receivers have done for the Raiders before week five against the Bears, but like Tyrell Williams was literally the only guy. So this is what Derek Carr had to work with today, okay? Without Tyrell Williams, this is what the wide receivers have done before this week's game. 11 catches, 89 yards. One catch, 14 yards. Trevor Davis had that catch for 28 yards with the Packers. And then Marcel Aitman, he's literally didn't even really play. Here's the wide receiver leaders before week five. Ryan Grant, not on the team anymore. J.J. Nelson, out. Tyra Williams, out. Today, Derek Carr showed you that it, when we needed him to step up, he could. And you're going to look at these numbers, and if you're just hunting down the box score, you're going to say Derek didn't play well. But Derek Carr went up against arguably the best defense in the NFL, put up 229 yards, led a very clutch 97-yard drive at the end of the game, and got the Raiders a win. Derek Carr gets my clutch MVP in this week's game. Let's go to Super Chat. We got K or K X Pud X15. D line played better without Farrell replaced. Oh man. We're already going to get into the Cleveland Furl. I still think if Cleveland Furl is healthy, you have to get him out on the field. You got to get him playing time. But there is no way, there, there is no way you put Cleveland Furl over Max Crosby right now. You can't do that. Mo Hurst played great. Jonathan Hankins played great. Those are your two defensive tackles. P.J. Hall played solid again today. Benson Mayo has got four and a half sacks. I want to get Furl out on the field, but the Raiders defense today played phenomenal. I know they gave up 21 points, but you kind of have to put seven of those points on the Raiders' offense for that really bad turnover that when we came right out of halftime. Like, you could easily say the MVP of this game was the Raiders' front. They forced pressure all day. And realistically, we should have had two interceptions because, let's be real, how terrible, how terrible was that call on Maurice Hurst? That's an absolute shame that you're going to call uh, roughing the passer on Mo Hurst. Like, what do you want the guy to do? And then we force an interception. But you know what I love about the Raiders? That just goes to show how mentally tough this team is. Because last year's team, we can all agree. Last year's team, after that Mohurst roughing the passer call to that interception, we lose that game. This team's different. This team's different. And now we're 3-2. and two. Let's go to Jake Bishop. What up, brother? Who was your Raider of the game? Well, Jake from State Farm, I can't tell you my player of the game because here in a little bit I'm going to come up with my MVP I'm going to do some grades we're going to do some awards winners losers I might not even be able to do losers because I'm so hyped but who was your Raider of the game before I give you guys my answer because it's coming up here in a little bit I want you to comment below give me your Raider of the game Jake I appreciate the super chat I do but I promise you it's coming up and I'll give you a shout out when I do all right can the Raiders keep the winning streak Armando get a picture I mean, why not, right? I mean, I mean, I can almost guarantee you this, though. They're not going to lose next week. And if you don't know why, because the Raiders are on a bye. But here's, like, we were 1-2. and two, Things were looking scary. And then the Raiders came out and won two big games. Now, we do have a very tough game, Week 7, on the road against the Green Bay Packers. But if the Raiders play the way that they did today, you guys might laugh at me for saying this, we can beat just about anyone. The Raiders played very, very well, and I appreciate everyone right now who was watching live, and if this is the first time you're watching us live, and you're like, wait, what is happening? We are the most interactive Raiders channel on YouTube and on Facebook. Currently 27,379 subscribers. We're growing very, very fast, but it's because of the passion of the nation. So right now we have 1,000 people watching us live on YouTube, and if this is the first time you're watching us, Subscribe, youtube.com slash Raiders Report. We do giveaways. I give away t-shirts. I gave away Raiders and Lions tickets just the other day. And we have a good time here doing a watch party. So I want you guys to comment below how you felt about this win. It was a great one. Get us to 30K subscribers, Raider Nation, because I love you. Raider Nation, what's going on? Is this the number one Raiders channel on YouTube? For Chucky Heads, believe it, baby. And if you haven't already, subscribe right here. I'm giving you Chucky Heads news rumors raider nation rumors and look at this i'm making your life easier check out my next video thanks for watching and go raiders